I got some great news for all you SpongeBob fans out there. Today is the 23 year anniversary of SpongeBob SquarePants series premiere. I know, right? It's a, as I've said in a previous video, it's very hard for the Patrick Star show to compete with or measure up to to live up to the expectations and popularity of 22 years of SpongeBob SquarePants and 270 episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants behind it. Oh, yeah, that was nice. I remember to have the episodes to complete with the Patrick Star show, even though that means just to, they've only completed, they've only completed the first three out of 26 episodes in season 13. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, Arthur, but yeah, now I also want to talk about Arthur. Arthur is the longest running PBS Kids series, and it, uh, you know, it's based on a longer, even longer running series of books by Mark Brown, who, uh, got to play himself in two Arthur episodes, including the, the series finale. So yeah. So yeah, now that Arthur is over the next longest running, the next longest running uh, animated series on PBS Kids are Cyber Chase and Curious George. For my account. Arthur, Cyber Chase, Curious George. Three of the longest running PBS Kids series of guns. Oh yeah, that, wait, there's over there. And, and Wild Kratz, of course, yeah, there's a little. Yeah, yeah, I almost forgot to mention that one. Wait, maybe Curious George is actually. Wait, maybe Curious George is the fourth longest one, because the third longest one is the longest. Wait, Curious George. What Cyber Chase? Wild Kratz has that one too. Ah, uh, anyway, that's beside the point. Maybe Wild Kratz. Maybe, maybe Wild Kratz is, uh. Ended up for 20 years and I didn't know it yet. But, oh yeah, that's not the point. The, the point is, yeah, Arthur ran for 25 years from October 7, 1996 to February 21st, 2022. And, I mean, I didn't watch Arthur a whole lot, but, you know, I, I mean, I did watch some episodes as a kid, and uh, I'd also like to watch some of the other episodes, many other episodes. I'd also love to watch the 200 episodes that I haven't seen yet. That's just about my estimation of how, how much I haven't seen yet from Arthur. Anyhow, yeah, so on February, so yeah, you can tell Arthur, you can tell Arthur's writers were, uh, had uh, plans to wrap up the show in its last few years because they were making shorter seasons with the lower number of episodes. They didn't want to bring themselves out with the same quantity of episodes every year, like or is it the Simpsons, the Family Guy, and Eric and Dad often do. <coughs> so, okay, so for Arthur, yeah. Arthur capped off the series with 253 episodes in 25 seasons on February 21st, 2022. All the last four episodes there on the same day. And I thought it was kind of cool how I liked how they, things came full circle back to the first episode when uh, all grown up, Michael Yarmush, the first kid who voiced Arthur in its first few years, got to play the grown up Arthur in all grown up, and Mark Brown, like the interviewers, Mark Brown, I think, wrote a book about him. And it's the same title of the first episode, or, which was also one of the books that passed Ar Arthur's eyes. Um, yeah, every wild catch, right? It's Created by the same two Krat brothers who did the Boom Who. That was a fun show to watch. I remember. Okay, yeah, so for, 
Okay, the point is, yeah, Arthur has completed its entire run of 25, of 25 years, and SpongeBob SquarePants, which, uh, which usually produces and airs a full season over the course of two years, and not just one, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants is 23 years old, but it now has a chance to become but it now has a chance to become but now it has a chance to become America's first longest running animated series for children if it would stay on the air for three more years which I hope it does especially with especially in conjunction with the Patrick Star show which I hope gets through which I hope in its latest in one of its later seasons but not the final one, gets rebranded as the Patrick and Squidina star show. If Squidina becomes that popular enough of a character to warrant such a title change. So yeah, Arthur is, so yeah, for the longest time, Arthur has been the first longest running animated series for kids since, you know, has been America's first longest running animated series for kids, even though it's actually in those cast actually based in Canada and Montreal uh, and SpongeBob SquarePants is the second longest running but as long as but if SpongeBob SquarePants if SpongeBob SquarePants is still making new episodes three years from now like the original series not just its spin-offs can't run the Patrick Star show then SpongeBob SquarePants I'm really rooting for SpongeBob SquarePants to hold the to hold the world record for the longest running for America's longest running animated series for children on May 1st, 2025. I mean, after all, you know, it's, uh, working on milestones lately. It, in the beginning of season nine, it finally beat Rugrats for the Nickelodeon's longest running animated series and Rugrats episode count of 172 episodes. I passed Rugrats and I have your SpongeBob SquarePants to do that. And, uh, yeah, I noticed on April 23rd, no, I noticed on April 22nd, 2022, Nickelodeon decided to start airing. It turns out SpongeBob SquarePants, the staff of SpongeBob SquarePants actually was working on some SpongeBob SquarePants season 13 episodes on the back burner at the same time as Camp Coral and the Patrick Star show. So now they're airing a new batch of SpongeBob SquarePants episode season 13. So I'm glad, so I'm glad they didn't hold off on that for too long and they completed enough parts of it to continue airing that. After airing, an, after airing 11 and a half episodes of the Patrick Star show, or is it 10 and a half? Uh, uh, so yeah, it'll be a while before it gets these super sitters, which I think is going to be the first episode of the Patrick Star Show without Squidina. It's about Patrick and SpongeBob going back in time to, you know, they're using Patrick's time closet to see Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy, and Man Ray when they were children, and, and, uh, It's called Super Sitters, and hopefully it'll, I'm sure it'll turn out much better than the Fairly Odd Parents episode, Certifiable Super Sitter, which is Mysterious Mr. Enter's 160th Animated Atrocities video. And... Yeah, that's, uh... So yeah, when SpongeBob SquarePants... Uh, I mean, I still have a lot to catch up on with SpongeBob SquarePants from seasons 11 and 12, but when I have seen all their all the episodes from the previous two seasons, I'd be happy to watch the new season 13 episodes that we got. Kind of strange that's kind of strange that Nickelodeon hasn't aired Super Sitters yet when they've already aired the episode paired with it two weeks ago, Pro Wants to Be a Star. But I wish the cast included Patrick Star show the best of luck. Uh, and Oh yeah, yeah. The other thing I forgot to mention on Super Sitter, yeah, it's kind of cool seeing Spongebob Scrubs involved in Patrick, when Patrick's crazy, I yeah, just getting you can use the time closet in his house, but as from what I can tell, none of the other members of the star family will be present in this episode, which is kind of a shame because that means it's another thing that can easily, it's another one of those Patrick episodes that could easily work as just a reskin Spongebob episode like Patathon. Well, it was kind of creative though how they 
how they utilize SpongeBob SquarePants in the Patrick Star Show's episode, Who's a Big Boy? Without actually uh, making without actually making this feel too much like a reskin SpongeBob episode. That was nice. You know, like a giant Patrick was playing with normal size SpongeBob, like a toy, like the same way that he was to smash fruit, like the way he was playing with his little toy SpongeBob at the beginning of the episode when he was normal sized. Okay, so yeah, to recap, uh, yeah, I uh, hope the Patrick Star Show staff is still working on it. I hope this bunch of SquarePants have United Plankton is still working hard on episodes of the Patrick Star Show and Camp Coral while they're airing the season 13 episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants. And uh, I'm not sure when we'll get the second season of Camp Coral, but it will probably be when they finish airing their current batch of season 13 SpongeBob SquarePants episodes. And yeah. You know it's complicated how they how to, how they get to schedule production completion and airtime for all three SpongeBob SquarePants series, which is why I think Camp Coral isn't going to last much longer. I hope the Patrick Star Show and SpongeBob SquarePants do last much longer than Camp Coral. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I don't want to start a Patreon account because. I don't have any specific fans where, of content where I could warrant that's worth warranting any special Patreon awards for people who pay me more. And besides, I only have 118 subscribers at this point, so just gonna keep doing what I do, what I'm doing, uh, making interesting, uh, making videos with potentially interesting topics of discussion about current and past media, seeing what seeing what works and what doesn't, and uh, what gets 100 views what gets more than 100 views in a month and what gets less than 100 views in a month. That's how I measure, that's why I currently measure my success rate of videos. It's very lucky to have already gained 119 subscribers on that uh, free cheap business model. But I am working, but I do plan to make some yeah. higher quality content in the near future. That's all folks.